What's up with you? You look like a borrower eating a bourbon. <laughs> Come on, tell me. It's nothing. You'll call me stupid. Hey, did I call you stupid when you lost all that money to me at poker? No, you said don't give up. Have another tequila. <laughs> and let's pretend that clothes are money. Come on, Lucy, what is it? I think I'm pregnant. How? Forget what your mum told you, she was lying. It's nothing to do with cabbage leaves or stalks. It was a penis. Yeah, not going out, not staying in. Just hanging around with my head in a spin. But there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out. We are not going out. Sorry. Look, this is really weird. I don't know how it happened. I haven't, you know, for ages. Are you sure? Sorry? I mean, maybe you've been in a situation where you think you've done nothing, but you've been a bit drunk and, you know. I don't drink to the extent where I can't remember having sex. I'm not you. <laughs> well, maybe someone, you know, it happens. You're in a pub, and without your knowledge, something has slipped in your... <laughs> I mean drugs. Oh. No, of course not. So how do you know you're pregnant? A woman knows. Which woman? <laughs> Me. My breasts are much larger than usual and they're very tender. What else? I'm late. Oh, go on, another five minutes. My period is two weeks late. Oh, that's the end of that game. I'm going to see the doctor next week. You mean you haven't even seen one yet? So why are we fretting that there's an immaculate muffin in the bread bin, Murray? I'm pregnant. I know it. Yeah, of course you are. I'll see you in the maternity wing in nine months. Don't worry about directions. I'll follow the star. <laughs> Tim, stop worrying. It's probably just one of those phantom pregnancies. Listen, trust me. My sister's always right. About everything. If you don't believe me, ask Mum and Dad. They'd believe her if she said I was pregnant. <laughs> so would I. There's not more to this story, is there? Something you're not telling me? What's that supposed to mean? Look, I'm going to ask you something, and I'll know if you're not telling the truth. How? Because I'm very good at reading body language. If you're that good, why haven't you stopped talking, got your coat and buggered off home? <laughs> I'm not joking. I know when you're lying. All right. Ask me what my mum's maiden name is. What's your mum's maiden name? Peterson. You're telling the truth. No, I'm not. I'm lying. <laughs> Look, have you slept with her or not? Yeah, but don't tell me, Dad. <laughs> Lucy! Of course I haven't. Well, you're the only bloke she's been near for the last few months. I'm her lodger. I know. It's just... You hear about these urban myths and stuff. Maybe they're true. You know, about... Girls getting pregnant in weird ways. Like from being in a jacuzzi. God, you can tell you went to a posh all-boys school. You must have heard this. A man goes into a jacuzzi or a swimming pool and... <laughs> ...entertains himself without the company of a woman. You're a real man's man, aren't you? Then he gets out, a woman gets in... Yeah, all right, I get the idea. You and Lucy don't share bath water, do you? Yeah. And on Sundays, we do the spuds in there, too. Of course not. <laughs> you can't really get pregnant like that, can you? Well, it doesn't matter, cos you don't share bath water, do you? <laughs> do you? <laughs> Look, a few weeks ago... I don't believe this. <laughs> you don't need to panic. It's not you picturing a snotty three-year-old with Lucy's eyes and your face. It's better than a snotty three-year-old with Lucy's breasts and my testicles. <laughs> this isn't funny. Go on. A few weeks ago, I went into the bathroom to have a shower. Ah! Ah! <laughs> have you heard of knocking? Have you heard of locking? Have you heard of eviction? That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Just get out. I didn't see anything. 
All right, I saw the headlights, but not the bunny. <laughs> Pardon? Sorry, I ran over a rabbit last week. I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> That stupid bathroom lock you bought, it doesn't work. You're just not using it properly. Yo, get out of here! I'm doing a poo poo! <laughs> What's all this? It's called a bath. Here in the South, we have a different place for storing coal. <laughs> What's with all the candles? Didn't know it was your birthday. Oh no, it's only 37. <laughs> what do you want, Lee? I need a shower. Oh, I didn't know it was your birthday. <laughs> You'll have to wait. I can't. I'm meeting Tim in half an hour. You know what he's like if people are late? They'll get all teary and start looking for a policeman. <laughs> well, be quick. I finished my poo poo. <laughs> Add a little of this Tuscan fig oil to your bath water and you too can feel like a sun-drenched Mediterranean princess. What kind of idiot falls for this rubbish? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, if I had some Jaffa cakes now, life would be perfect. <laughs> Well, carry on. What? You know damn well what, did you? <laughs> of course I didn't. Lee, this is important. You cannot get pregnant like that. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Because you didn't do anything. Tell me the truth now. <laughs> Actually, it is Peterson. I got my little sister pregnant. I was gonna run her a fresh bath, but I fell asleep. I always do have to... I don't want the details. <laughs> the next thing I know, I woke up in a panic because she was banging on the door saying she was gonna be late. So I just got out. I'm sorry, Tim, but I was thinking of her. <laughs> I don't mean... I'm gonna have to tell her what's happened. Don't. I'll deal with it. All right, but you better had. You can't tell her. I don't know what she'd be most angry about. The fact that I may have accidentally got her pregnant, or the fact that I told you first. It's the first one, isn't it? <laughs> You're late. I do clean other people's houses, you know. Must be a nice change if you coming here, then. <laughs> Who rattled your cage? Uh, who opened yours? Oh, I see. Still thinking about Lucy being pregnant. We don't know that she's pregnant. Women know. So I keep hearing. How do they know? It's a feeling you get. You feel irritable. Well, I feel irritable now, but I'm not pregnant. <laughs> yeah, but your man boobs aren't all tender, are they? <laughs> They're not man boobs. That's true. They're more like women's boobs. <laughs> anyway, maybe you're right. I mean, how can she be pregnant if she's claiming she hasn't had sex in ages? Exactly. Funny, isn't it, this uh, reproductive thing? Actually, I saw an interesting programme on the telly last night. Apparently, there's a type of insect called the water-spawning dragonfly, which mate in the most amazing way. <laughs> the male lands on the water and deposits his seed. Then the lady-spawning dragonfly sort of swims round where the male was, and lo and behold, she becomes pregnant. Wow. Can you imagine <laughs> if a human being could get pregnant like that? No way. That would be impossible, wouldn't it? Have you been wanking in the bar? <laughs> what? Is that what you're asking me? No. Yes. <laughs> I was going to run her a fresh bath, but I fell asleep. Oh. What? I wish people would stop acting like I've been strangling kittens or... Choking chickens. <laughs> we all do it, even you. I beg your pardon. Oh, come off it, Barbara. Look me in the eyes and tell me. In fact, don't, I'll be sick. <laughs> well? What? Is it possible for a woman to get pregnant like that? Of course not. Are you sure? Yes, it's impossible. <sighs> I knew it. 
Well, virtually impossible. <laughs> what do you mean, virtually? That doesn't help. That's like finding out your girlfriend's virtually legal. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's possible for sperm to survive outside the body in certain temperatures. What temperatures? Like when it's frozen. Well, the bathwater wasn't frozen, was it? <laughs> well, obviously not, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get your hands underneath to have a... Yeah, all right. <laughs> Is it possible or not? Excuse me. I'm not a scientist. I'm a clean. I don't know if you've noticed. Not really, no. <laughs> oh, God, what am I going to do? Look, you don't even know she's pregnant yet. Wait till she's seen the doctor. This is like when I was waiting for my university results. All right, Polytechnic. <laughs> All right, Catering College. Yeah? What did you learn there? How to put buns in ovens? <laughs> Look, she can find out quicker, you know. How? Get a pregnancy kit. I think it's clear I've already got one of those. <laughs> What's that? I got you a present. <laughs> what lovely wrapping paper. <laughs> oh, look, you've even written a message. Every little helps. <laughs> a pregnancy test? Yeah. What are you doing? It's my body, Lee. Don't you think that maybe this is something I should have got for myself? Would it help if you gave me the money? <laughs> anyway, I don't need to do a test. I've come round to your way of thinking. It's impossible for me to be pregnant. Well, you might be. <laughs> Why don't you just do it? Put both our minds at rest. Why are you suddenly so concerned? Well, it affects me, doesn't it? Does it? Of course it does. <laughs> it's clear this flat isn't big enough for three of us. And I don't really want to be lumbered with a baby when you move out. <laughs> Go on, just for a bit of fun. Go in the toilet, we on the stick. Now the bunny! You know the stupid gangster lock? Well, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. What? You have one week to change it, or I'm going to shove it up your... Yeah, all right. <laughs> well? You have to wait a few minutes. <laughs> Is this why they call it a pregnant pause? So, uh, what will happen, you know, if you are pregnant? I'm not. I know, but what if you are? I can't be. Just humour me. All right, you're a lovely bloke and you go a long way. How's that? <laughs> well, after I got over the how the hell did this happen bit, I guess I'd have to sit down and make some decisions. What kind of decisions? Well, to start, the career would have to be put on hold for a while. Well, that's not too bad, is it? I mean, my career's been on hold since I was three. Why, are you getting a bit big for the chimneys? <laughs> and then there's the birth itself to think about. That would terrify me. Sure, it's not as bad as women go on about. I mean, women say, people say, stupid people. Apparently it's as painful as a whole baking potato coming out of your penis. Oh, I must remember to start chewing. <laughs> and then, of course, there's my dad. Blimey, how did he get in the... I dread to think what he'd say. And then there's this place to consider. Like you say, it's not really big enough for me, you and a baby, is it? Well, it must be ready now. Go on. Lucy, just before you do look at it, you do know, don't you, that whatever happens, I'll stand by you as a friend. Oh, my God. I'm pregnant. Oh, hello. How long have you been my sister, Lucy? Oh, let me think. I'm 29 now. When did I have that sex change? Was it before or after yours? How long have you known Lee? 
I'm sorry, have you been in a car crash or something? All right, then, I won't mince words. I think when it comes to being, you know, that there are certain people, not a million miles from here, who should be told before certain other people, because they're not even blood relatives, whereas certain people are. Well, it's true, you didn't mince your words, you sort of liquefied them. I presume you've been speaking to Lee. This is Mr Snuggles all over again, isn't it? Well, not again, Tim, I was nine. Finding my hamster dead and telling Alison Gately before me. What kind of nine-year-old girl does that? I don't know. What kind of 18-year-old boy buys himself a hamster and calls him Mr Snuggles? Of course, Mum and Dad will need to be told. Oh, you're loving this, aren't you? What's that supposed to mean? All your life you've whinged about being the underdog. And now finally you've got the chance to be the blue-eyed boy. I haven't whinged about anything. Carry me, not Lucy. So? I was seven. And I'd been hit by a car. (laughs) Your car. Well, if you're not going to say anything, maybe I should tell them about your little package. Tim, the word is pregnant. Don't start swearing at me. (laughs) And it's my responsibility to tell them, not yours. You need to start growing up, young lady, and acting your age. And spending less time with boys doing... Humpty Pumpty! Oh, look who it is. Bath time Billy and the flannelettes. Shut up. Don't worry, I haven't told her about you doing the unnecessary. It is totally necessary. In fact, it's almost compulsory. You don't know how lucky you are being a woman. Have you any idea what I'm going through? What you're going through? Tim, I'm going to be a father. I'm only 39. If you're from up north, you should be a grandfather by now. There's still things I want to do. Like what? I don't know. Scuba diving. Well, don't worry. You'll still be able to do that with Junior. He's clearly a good swimmer. (laughs) You're going to have to tell her the truth, and soon. There's things that need to be discussed. I know. Like me finding another place to live. It's been mentioned. Yes, and there's going to have to be a conversation about money as well. Don't worry about that. I don't want any handouts. Not for you. (laughs) From you. For the baby. And it won't be cheap. You'll be looking at about £1,000 a month. What's she having? Quads? If you're the father, probably a litter. (laughs) Must be a mistake. I'm allergic to some things. Maybe I had something that contains nuts. I think that's a certainty. (laughs) Maybe there's something wrong with the test. Maybe it's been contaminated. What with? Pregnant women, we? Well, there must be some explanation. I can't be pregnant. I'm going for a bath. Oh, God. Twins. Is this like the sixth sense? Am I the only one that can see you? (laughs) Can I ask you something? Where do you want to be in a year from now? I don't know. Over there. (laughs) Don't you mean over there? In Lucy's bedroom? (laughs) Think about it. Before all this, you were over there. And now you're here, which is nearer to there. (laughs) Can I ask you a question? Do you like role play? Beg your pardon? I just thought maybe to spice up your work life, you could pretend to be a cleaner. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to go over there, because it's the furthest point from being here. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want to be with Lucy, what do I care? Go on. Last week, if I'd offered you the opportunity for you and Lucy to be settled down in a cosy relationship with a baby, you would have bitten my hand off. May as well bite them both off. You don't use them. <laughs> Well, you've certainly been using yours, haven't you? Yeah, all right, smart ass. <laughs> anyway, there's going to be no cosy relationship. I'm getting chucked out. A baby doesn't need its own room for ages. And by then, she'll see how great you are, reading little munchkin bedtime stories, taking it to the park to think you're the bee's knees. And when she does, you'll go all the way from over there to there. <laughs> now do you get it? Oh, you make a great father. How do you know? I've got a sixth sense. I see dad people. (laughs) You're quiet. I was just... No, don't spoil it. (laughs) I was just thinking about what you said earlier, about my responsibilities. I've decided I'm going to help raise this baby, like a proper father. A proper father? We're not the first people to have a baby outside wedlock, you know. Wedlock? You're not even in sex lock. (laughs) It's one thing for a child to be born outside of marriage, it's another for it to be born outside of nature. (laughs) Tim, it'll be fine. Yeah, until the baby starts calling its plastic duck daddy. (laughs) Drink up. 
we've got shopping to do. shouldn't have told you, should he? Don't talk to me about contraception, it's so embarrassing. They're not called sheaths anymore. <laughs> Look, Mum, there's something I need to explain to you. Oh, I'll have to phone you back, there's someone at the door. Bye. I've just been on the phone to Mum. Oh. Is that it? Just, oh. No. Oh. Dear. How dare you tell Mum and Dad when I specifically asked you not to? They had to be told. This isn't just about you, Lucy. A bastard child affects all of us. <laughs> you had no right to tell them. And you had no right to tell Lee before me that you had a fruit bun in the Argo. <laughs> Blimey, even for me that was middle class. Well, is it any surprise that I tell Lee first? Lee doesn't phone up Mum just to score brownie points. Lee doesn't go around acting like a competitive teenager. Lee doesn't act like a small child to do anything to get constant attention. <laughs> this stuff kills when babies do it. What are you doing? In shopping. Like that? You'll do anything to get in those disabled parking spaces, won't you? I just thought it was about time we all started accepting the situation. I thought maybe you could... Let me stay around and help raise this baby. I've told you, there isn't going to be enough room for three of us. Or maybe he can have my room. And where are you going to sleep? <laughs> In the cat basket. <laughs> right, that's it. This is getting ridiculous. She needs to hear the truth about how she got pregnant now. It's either you or me. Well, I can say it was you. Lucy? Yeah? Can you sit down? There's something I need to tell you. What? It's a sort of... confession. Well, go on. It's difficult. Just say it. Honesty's the best policy. <laughs> that old chestnut. Look what happened to Spartacus. His last words were, why didn't I just say Dave? <laughs> what is it? You're gonna laugh at this. But it might be one of those hysterical laughs, so you might think you're crying. But you're not, you're laughing. So just remember that, yeah? <laughs> you know, a few weeks ago when I went into the bathroom... Yeah? ..and I said I was going to have a shower? Well, I didn't. Oh, well, don't worry. You probably just lost your bottle at the last minute. <laughs> we'll try again next month. The thing is, I jumped in the bathwater before you. Oh, great. Believe me, by the end of this story, that bit will seem like a Hans Christian Andersen furry tale. Well, I hope it's got a happy ending. You could say that. <laughs> the thing is... I did something in the bath. What? You know. No. Well, sometimes you just need to relax, don't you? <laughs> did you drink my wine? Please don't make me say this. <laughs> Look, you know when you're in the bath, sometimes you have a bit of... You time. Yeah. Well, I had a bit of W time. <laughs> what? I had a Sherman. <laughs> What's a Sherman? A Sherman tank. <laughs> in the bath. You were in the bath with our cleaner. <laughs> Sherman tank. 
It's Cockney rhyming slang. Oh, my God! <laughs> In my bath water? I was going to run you a fresh one, but I fell asleep. It's that relaxing Tuscan fig oil. It's the Mediterranean equivalent of rehypnol. <laughs> anyway, why are you telling me this now? Because, you know... Oh, my God. You mean you're... inside my... Look on the bright side, at least he had a bath first. Get out! What? Go on, I mean it. I don't want you living here anymore. But what about... We'll be fine. We don't need any help. Just... leave. What are you waiting for? I'm certainly not shaking your hand. OK. Bye. Just one thing before you go. April Fool! <laughs> you can't get pregnant like that, you idiot. But... I'm not pregnant. I made the whole thing up right from the start. What are you talking about, Lucy? I presume your name really is Lucy. I wanted to teach you a lesson. What for? For poisoning my beautiful innocent, sweet-smelling bathwater with your horrible, mucky, man-porridge. How did you know? I told you that bathroom lock wasn't working, didn't I? <laughs> well, he's certainly giving that a good clean. So was Tim in on all this? No, he wasn't. He came round with such an attitude, I decided to test out his moral fibre. I wanted to see if he'd do the correct thing and not tell Mum and Dad. Oh, great! So I confessed to my best mate about having a Shawshank redemption for nothing? <laughs> oh, God, I'd have told Barbara. Is there anyone else we need to inform? Well, you don't need to tell Mum and Dad. Why? Because I already told them. <laughs> I had no choice! Tim told them I was pregnant. What else could I do? You could have... adopted a baby? <laughs> Well, let's not leave anyone out. Why don't we just tell the whole world? Hey, guess what I did in the bath? You already told me you had a massive... <laughs> so would you like to have a baby one day? Maybe. If I meet the right woman. I'm sure it'll be a beautiful moment. I want to have a baby with you, Lee. Leave the plug in. <laughs> I can't believe you thought it was possible to get pregnant like that. Yeah, all right. Tim thought it was possible too. I know. I don't know what's worse, catching you doing that in the bath or finding out my brother's sexually retarded. <laughs> well, definitely the second one. In fact, it's probably enough to make you forget about the first one. It's not, is it? <laughs> anyway, I can't stop and chat. I've got a new bathroom lock to fit. One that works, I hope. Oh, don't worry. I think it's safe to say I finally learnt my lesson. Going out, not staying in, just hanging around with my head in a spin. But there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out. We are not going.